So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to redirect your domain name. Now, at the moment, I'm using the examples from the screenshot of the providers that I recommended. So my hosting plan is with SiteGround and my domain names are registered with Namecheap. Now, you might have different providers, but the process is going to be really, really similar. And once you've seen me walk through this with these providers, you're going to feel confident doing it on your own or you're going to feel confident at least submitting a support ticket and asking how to, do, how to do it on yours. So the main thing to remember is what we're trying to achieve. So what we're actually doing is we are making sure that our domain name is pointing to the hosting plan because the hosting plan is where our website is gonna sit. And so when someone types in our domain name on their browser, we want them to retrieve the files from our hosting plan. So they need to speak to each other. And that's what we're about to do. So the first thing I've done is I've logged into my SiteGround account this is the screen that you arrive at once you've logged in. I'm then going to click on my accounts. And once it clicks through to here, I'm going to go to my C panel. Now, when the C panel opens up down the left hand side, you can see something called named servers. I'm going to grab the first named server setting and I'm going to copy it. So I just did control C, but you might do right click and go to copy. Then I'm going to go to my Namecheap account and I'm going to log in. I'm halfway through logged in. Um, and I'm going to just pop in my verification code. And once I have logged in, I'm going to go to the domain name that I'm wanting to redirect. Now, in this instance, I'm redirecting a domain name for my brother. So he is setting up a business called freedomrunning.co.uk and I have a domain name that I've registered, which is in my account here. So when this loads, um, let's actually just click on my domain list and we'll start seeing everything in one place. You'll also might notice that I'm a bit of a domain name junkie. So you will see a lot in here. You might only have the one. So here we go, freedomrunning.co.uk. This is what I'm after. So I'm gonna click on manage. And when it comes through to manage, it gives me an option to change my name server settings. And that is what I'm gonna do. Um, so I remember in my clipboard, I still have the name server settings that I grabbed from my cPanel in SiteGround. And so once these, lo these have loaded, you can see that my name server settings at the moment are set to the Namecheap basic DNS. DNS stands for Domain Named Server. So I'm going to click down on this and I'm going to just click on custom DNS and I'm going to put in the, I'm basically just going to hit paste. So control V or you can do right click and paste. Um, now I do know that the named name server 2 is identical to the first name server. It's just that it's NS2 instead of NS1. But if you aren't confident about that, you can go back and you can just grab this from here. I'm going to do uh, control C to copy it, command C if you're on a Mac, and, um, and enter that. So we have two named server settings. And then I'm just going to hit the green tick over here, which says save. And that is your redirection done. Now, it will take a few hours depending on your providers. So between Namecheap and uh, SiteGround, it's almost always instant. If you want to check how whether it's working or not, you can go to the Whois records. So with um, with the .co UK, the Whois records are with Nominet. So I can just type in um, Nominet Whois, and that's going to bring up the lookup tool. And you can actually see if you type in your domain name where the um, name servers are pointing. So down here, you can see name servers are pointing to dns one registrarservers.com, which is the Namecheap servers. Now, um, it's not what we have just changed it to. It's not the SiteGround ones. So I know that they haven't changed yet. So in an hour or so, I can come back, I can check on this, make sure that they've moved across, and then we can move to the next stage. And that's it. It's really, really that straightforward. I know it seemed techy and scary, but it's really not. So um, that is absolutely all that you had to do.